Hello everybody, today is day 15 of Make a Video and 2 Hour Challenge in which I attempt to make a video on uh, multiple subjects uh, on every day except Sundays. So Monday through Saturday. And going forward, Mondays are going to be our shorthand day. So starting off first with uh, going through the Greg Manual, becoming familiar with uh, this system of writing, and then hopefully once we have uh, uh, finished the manual, we will go forward and uh, apply the system to various works of the classics, um, uh, fairy tales, song lyrics, hopefully the um, uh, uh, sections from the scriptures as well. And um, just really looking forward to this, uh, excited to, uh, to go through this process. So without further ado, let's get into it. And you see, I was already partway through the introduction i started without you uh and so for this it's greg shorthand a light line phonography for the million what does he mean by light line light line is to differentiate it from various other uh, uh shorthand systems that would use uh thickness of line to differentiate sounds so a particular uh, a, a heavy stroke would be one sound a light stroke would be the other they would be the same length the same orientation, and the only thing that would differentiate them would be the the, the thickness. Uh, by and then phonography. This is a compound word. Phono meaning sound, graphy meaning writing. So sound writing, phonography, for the million. So they were really pushing this, trying to get it to as many people as possible. By John Robert Gregg. Hence Gregg shorthand. Moving forward to the introduction. And the introduction is called A Talk with the Beginner. This is to set the tone for the rest of the book. And that's what the, uh, the purpose of this video will simply be to go over the introduction. Success in any study depends largely upon the interest taken in that particular subject by the student. This being the case, we earnestly hope that you will realize at the very outset that shorthand can be made an intensely fascinating study. Cultivate a love for it. Think of it as the highest form of writing which is itself the greatest invention of man. Be proud that you can record the language in graceful lines and curves. Aim constantly to acquire artistic skill in executing those lines and curves. You can, if you will, make the study of shorthand a perfect joy instead of a task. Skill in the use of shorthand is a possession that has been coveted by the wisest of men and women, for it is not only a practical in, uh, instrument in commercial work, but a much prized and valuable accomplishment and a means of mental culture. Be thorough. Skill in anything is attained by repetition with interest. Therefore, do not shirk the careful, painstaking practice on the elementary forms given in the manual. Write each outline many times, and aim always at the attainment of fluency and exactness in execution. Your future success depends to a very large extent on the way you do your work now. In order that your progress may be sure and rapid, master each lesson before you proceed with the next. In your practice, write as rapidly as you can while keeping the hand under complete control. Aim at accuracy rather than speed, but do not draw the characters. You must understand at the outset that shorthand must be written, but you must also impress upon the mind that whatever you write you must read, hence the necessity for good penmanship. As skill in executing the movements is obtained, the speed may be increased until the forms can be written accurately at a high rate of speed. Some attention should be given to acquiring a capacity for writing individual outlines rapidly without hesitation and with a free movement of the hand. Aim to acquire a smooth style of writing, execute each character with an easy, continuous motion of the pen, and pass directly to the next without unnecessary movements. A halty, jerky uh, movement is a uh, halting, jerky movement is fatal to speed and may be almost always traced to indecision caused by unfamiliarity with the forms. At first, carefully analyze the words. To do this, it is, of course, necessary for you to think of them in detail, but after you have determined the correct outline, practice it and think of it as a whole. Facility in the practical use of shorthand depends largely upon the stock of outlines you have at your ready command. Note the use of that word ready. This means that you should master all forms given in the manual by writing them many times. 
This will not only impress the forms on your mind so that you will not have any hesitation in recalling them, but will give you facility in writing them. In shorthand, it is not sufficient to know how to write a word. You must not only know the form, but be able to write it quickly. Hence the necessity for much repetition practice in writing the forms. Most of this repetition practice should be on the forms as they occur naturally in connected material. The repetition of isolated forms for more than five times consecutively is not in accord with modern pedagogy. Scientifically graded connected matter has supplanted the isolated form. If, in addition to the words given in the manual, you can add to your stock of outlines other words written under the same principles, you will have gained a great deal, will have laid a broader foundation for advanced work which will lessen the time required to attain efficiency. Devote much time to reading well-written shorthand. By reading a great deal of well-written shorthand, you will, have, you will become not only a fluent reader, but you will enlarge your writing vocabulary. Unconsciously, you will imitate in your own work the easy execution of the forms shown in the printed plates. All expert writers have devoted much time to reading shorthand. In addition to the work outlined in this manual, we strongly recommend the use of the supplementary dictation material given in Greg Speed Studies and the exercises presented each month in the Learner's Department of the Greg Writer. These exercises may be used with great advantage from the very first lesson. Each number of the Greg Writer contains many helpful suggestions and a number of shorthand pages that afford valuable exercises in reading and writing for students at all stages of advancement. And with that, we conclude the introduction to the Greg, to the Greg Manual. So you see here, they're wanting to put a lot of emphasis that this is a uh, that this is to be a very um, uh, exciting um, experience, but it should also be taken with a thorough and an exact um, approach. So hopefully these videos will be helpful in that that they will demonstrate the process of drilling, the process of um, going through content in a sequential manner um, and learning things in in and putting them in their proper perspective. So very excited to go forward uh, with this. Um, I, I thank you for joining me and um, hopefully next week we will begin with chapter one of the Greg Manual. This has been day 15 of Make a Video in Two Hour Challenge. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.